Welcome back, my amazing people of God. Indeed, it is a great day, a day of joy, a day we need to give shout of praise unto the Lord, for the Lord is good. As I welcome all of you, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and smack the red button, click the notification bell, it is free of charge. So that whenever we upload, you'll be able to get notified. On this very particular video, we are going to talk about two different, two similar cases, different reactions from God. And the reason you should never dare to make a woman cry. The book of Luke chapter 1 is the case of Zachariah and the, the woman called Mary. That the angel of the Lord visited with the same information of conception with the only, that with unimaginable impossible situation. He is thinking in age and his wife as well. Mary a virgin, how can you conceive without meeting a man? And what happened? Their reaction is the same. But the result and how the Lord reacted to their reaction was completely different. Zechariah in chapter in verse chapter 1, verse 11, the angel said that this shall happen to you. The Lord have heard you. You shall bear a son and shall call his name John. Verse 13 was like, How could that be possible? I am an old man. Verse, verse 18, he said, how could this be? And in 20, he said, you are going to become dumb. So many men today are going through, that is, perilous time, are going through hordings in life because of their attitude towards their wife, because of their attitude towards women, because of their mindset and their fixation towards women. Women are wonderfully gorgeously made by god god took out time to create women god hold women so dear in his heart in everything concerning women god is a jealous god when it comes to women i am telling you i am urging you today if you are mistreating your wife i want you to retrieve i want you to go back and ask for his her forgiveness and i want you to treat her well i want you to take out take her out even if it is it, do, it doesn't have to cost. Take her out on a dinner between two of you. Or set up a candle dinner by your, you know, by the side of your house. Just you and your wife with some little flowers. Buy little, little candles. Candle it on. Say, today I am renewing my love towards you. The same information came to Mary in the verse 28. He said, you are going to conceive. You understand? The same information you have found favor in the Lord. 31 said you are going to conceive. And Mary was like, how is this going to be possible? The angel of the Lord said, he, he kind of, he pecked him and said, don't worry. The angel of the Lord will visit you. And you are going to conceive by the power of the Holy Spirit. The same question that Zachariah asked and the angel was like, why should you argue with me? Why should you doubt me? And for that reason, you're going to become dumb and dead. But Mary asked the same question. And God said, don't worry. Don't worry how it's going to happen. Just, it's going to, just believe that it's going to happen. And Mary now said, okay. Do you see why you should never treat your wife badly? Do you know why you should never allow your wife to shed tears? I hope that this message bless someone. If you haven't given your life to Christ, this is the Apple opportunity. I love you all. Until I come your way next time, never treat a woman bad. Thank you, my amazing people. If the video interests you, go ahead, like, share, 